Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're gonna continue playing the Watcher Ascension level two. Two! Wonderful. We have, uh, I was gonna say 10,000. We have 1,023 more XP to unlock the last remaining item, which I believe is gonna be three more relics. So let's just give it a shot here. Take 18 damage to transform, random potions, choose a card, random boss relic. I really like having the opening miracle because you can save it forever, but if you just get an energy relic, wouldn't you rather have that? There is also the altered version of pure water that you can get from a boss fight, but I haven't even seen it yet. I'm just gonna go for the transformation because I think it's interesting. Foreign influence allows us to add a specific attack to our hand. Brilliance, transform your hand into miracles exhaust. Dude, that seems very interesting. If you have cards you don't want, you can just turn them into eight, into energy next turn. Okay. I can I can see that being a very interesting card to have. I will say I don't really love our path options, but we'll we'll give it a shot. I, I highly suspect us to die though. And I say that because I highly suspect that this is not gonna be a very good start to the run. But we're gonna try it anyways. So here's what we're gonna do. How'd I get 10 block? <laughs> By hitting him? By going into Vigilance? Did I, gain, did I play a defend? What happened? I must have played the defend and then got five block from, I, you know, I got no idea. Something happened. How did I get 10 block though? Anyways, you're dead. I will say as the watcher, I feel like I should probably try to use the Wrath Stance a little bit more. I'll take another one of those. Uh, I should probably try to use the Wrath Stance a little bit more, but I don't really like it. I feel like you're much better off just trying to get Divinity because taking double damage really sucks. Clothesline, go for the eyes, flying knee. I, I do like a clothesline. Keeps him weak for a couple of turns and prevents a little bit of damage. Okay, you know. Maybe we can wrath him and do a lot of damage. Yeah, actually. I was gonna say, maybe we'll get like a feed out of it or something. We got Hand of Greed out of Foreign Influence. <laughs> I love it. By the way, so Deceive Reality, there has been a content change. I should probably honestly like save and quit and look at the patch notes, but a few cards have been changed. Deceive Reality, now you don't choose between a safety and a wisdom, you only get the safety and the block is also worse. The block from Deceive Reality has gone down from 5 and 7 to 4 and 6. You can't choose to add the Wisdom card. I'll be honest, I kind of liked the old version of it. I liked having the option of, do you want block or card draw? I still think it's, I still think it's extremely good though. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, but then really quickly, before we actually continue anymore, I just need to, not, don't abandon, run to save and quit. I do need, do need to remind myself of what has changed. Um, a, there has been a change to the Ironclad, by the way. I only realized this the other day. One of the worst powers in the entire game, fire breathing, it's different. Whenever you draw a status or curse, deal damage to all enemies. So this actually plays into an Evolve deck, which I think is very interesting, or a curse deck. And for the Watcher here, there's been a couple of changes with... Uh, Wire heading at the start of your turn you scry instead of at the end of your turn makes it so that you can actually get weaves in your hand. There's been a change to the flurry of blows. Instead of doing like five damage three times and coming back from exhaust when you change stances, it just goes from your discard pile into your hand when you change a stance. So this is not a heavy hitting card anymore, it is a cheap zero cost card. So there have been a couple of changes for things like that, and uh, 
one card that had a little bit of an alteration was... Is it really an uncommon? Sanctity is uncommon? This is a great card. Uh, the block was reduced on this by quite a lot, actually. Not follow-up, Sanctity. You draw more cards, but instead of getting 11 block upgraded, you get 9. It's still pretty decent, but just worth pointing out. Anyways, I just wanted to take a look and remember what's going on with that. Okay, apparently if you save, you get to choose cards again. That's kind of cool. But to see reality is a great pickup. I love it. So... If we Eruption, Strike, Defend, we take 7 damage, but we kill an enemy. I'd rather take none, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. We can't take none, but at least we can take, you know, as little as possible. Dude, honestly? This seems like a really good body slam turn. Swipe him, and then kill you. You know what, we, we should have waited for the next foreign influence because in theory, foreign influence could give us a feed, a hand of greed, anything like that. D honestly? That, that's a pretty good top deck. <laughs> to immediately get a bludgeon, that's so good. Wish this was upgraded, because I'm, I'm going to take one damage if I do this by playing the defend, but I guess we'll play the safety and take zero. And then on this turn, what we can do is strike brilliance, hold on to extra energy, and then maybe next turn we can go into the evolve. I say evolve, I, I mean eruption. But dude, I really want to get foreign influence. So I think I'm actually going to, to stall. And we have him next turn with the strike, but let's see if we can get like a feed or hand of greed from foreign influence. Core surge, perfected strike, step and strike. Well, I mean, doesn't matter what we take. That's okay. You feel like calm needs some reason to stay in the stance, otherwise it's only useful for leaving. I think that calm is not that important, but maybe it should be, but it isn't. By the way, also, fairy in a bottle. Instead of 10% HP, you get 30% when you use it. It's really good. But, like, I just don't see myself using the, the calm state because I'd much rather just, you know, get devotion out there, get two devotions, get triple damage every other turn, and then you already have the energy. I would only use this for card draw, but that's only because of the... Oh, you know what? That's how we gain block. They changed Vigilance. I was going to say, I would only use Vigilance for card draw. You don't get the card draw anymore. It gives you block and enters Calm State. That's so much better. Ah, that, that, that explains why I had felt like, how did I get that 10 block earlier? It's because this card enters Calm State and gives you block, which you need most of the time, because you're playing too energy for it, which is way too much. That's much better. Anyways, <laughs> what the hell are we doing now? Give me Vigilance and a Defend. All of a sudden, hey, we're taking no damage. We'll put a Riddle with Holes in our hand and turn. And now if we wanted to, we could Erupt. But let's see what we get out of Foreign Influence. This will do 30 damage, which is not enough to kill him, but I'd still like to, but with Eruption, we'd rather, you know, just make sure we can not take damage on the turn. How much damage is he doing? He's doing 8, which is actually 16. We can get enough block very easily. It means we won't be able to play Streamline, unfortunately, but I guess what we could... Uh, you know what? We can. Use the Miracle. Then we've already played both foreign influences, yes. So here, you wipe them. Cleanse evil, prostrate has been changed. Instead of gaining mantra and vulnerability, you only gain mantra and block. 
Weave has definitely been buffed. Cleanse Evil. We already have a Cleanse Evil, and we don't need Prostrate because we have a Devotion. We'd rather just upgrade the Devotion and play it twice somehow. Dude, I'll be honest. We need to do damage quickly. So I kind of feel like... Miracle, Eruption, Signature mood, Move, because it does 60 damage. We should have him next turn. That's a pretty good draw from the, from the card, though. It's like exactly what I needed on the turn. Yeah, we, we just flawless the Gremlin Knob. And we got Lizard Tail, which is a rare relic. Just lucky, huh? I don't like any of these. We don't, we don't, what are we building towards? With Foreign Influence and Devotion, I kind of feel like we'd be head, and Cleansing Evil, I kind of feel like we'd be headed towards another um, Divinity deck. These don't really seem that worthwhile. I mean, just Lucky is pretty nice, but we have nothing that gives us card draw right now. We'll add those in when we get card draw, I feel. Transform your hand into Miracles. I guess it doesn't matter if we play Miracle to play Brilliance, because it still stays. Uh, I think I will do that, though. Devotion, Brilliance. We get four Miracles. We don't need the strikes and defense. It's kind of like an exhaust, really. Quick Slash is better. Carve Reality. <laughs> I think what we actually want here is a Beam Cell, because then you can erupt. I mean, you could Vigilance Eruption, but I think it's just Eruption, Beam Cell, Quick Slash. Miracle, Strike, Miracle, Cleansing Evil, Miracle, Smite. Yeah, this seemed to work very well. Blasphemy, enter Divinity, die next turn. Well, I mean, could be good, but I think I'm just gonna go Third Eye. I actually like this card, and I like Sanctity. Upgraded 9 block, 5 Scry, Sanctity upgraded 9 block to draw. So you can theoretically play them both, gain 18 block, and draw two cards that you've chosen. Seems pretty good. So this is definitely a brilliance. You know what? Draw? <laughs> okay, we're not gonna brilliance. What we're gonna do is miracle cleanse. Uh, it would be funny to Brilliance have like eight miracles and then just like go to town on a future turn, but I think this is what we want to do here. We want to get Devotion out, but unfortunately it's not going to happen. Skewer is interesting. Brilliance in the Skewer, and then you can do like 50 damage. <laughs> it's going to stick with the Iron Wave though. Or the Palm. Give me the Palm. Give me Draw. Clash, yes. We're gonna add a safety. We're gonna end turn. We're, we're, we're slowly building up our hand in our, in our deck right now. He's gonna wake up. Scry, next turn. Um, Deceive reality is okay. We do wanna draw the smite. So we're gonna clash. I got a safety in my hand. We gotta play safety to play Clash? I mean, I'd rather not. So I'm gonna play the strikes. And we're just gonna wait for triple damage with Devotion Divinity. New sound effect on that, by the way. I could Brilliance. It would get rid of Cleansing Evil, which I would like to not have happen. What we're gonna do instead is block. There's our four smites. This is enough damage to kill him when we hit divinity. All we have to do is wait. We can slow play this one as long as we want. We could triple or we could double damage and do 
five energy. Which will be three. We can only play one attack. No, 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 no. I think what we want to do... Is get blocks next turn. We want to slow play it. We're waiting for triple damage. Still taking none, I think. We, we have the clash. We can play it. <laughs> and there we go. Eight energy. Yes, might him. Yes, might him. Yes, might him. Toy Ornithopter. We're going to use a potion healing. I really do like the buffs that potions have received. The fact that there's the duplication potion, uh, more relics that interact with potions, like the relic that gives you double potion effect. Toy Ornithopter is no longer a shop relic. The White Beast statue is no longer a boss relic. I really think, I really like that the potions have been buffed because it seems like a very cool way of, of playing, relying on potions. Bottled Lightning. You're really hoping to get a Bottled Lightning into a Wish. Um, I don't love the choice here. This might be a good opportunity for the Sapphire Key. Like, what do we want to put in our hand? What kind of skill? We could put Brilliance, which is not that bad. Cleansing Evil, add Smites early, gain block and safety early, defends, foreign influences, path to victory, third eye, vigilance. I'm going to take the Sapphire Key. Without having a Wish, that's not as good because Wish was, when we had Wish and we put it in a bottle, it was such a cool, fun, amazing OP run. I loved it. Now, eh, I don't really care that much. <laughs> Yo, give me, what, what boss are we fighting? Hexaghost? Give me the upgrade to Devotion. That's gotta happen. This used to be a lesson learned stream. <laughs> I haven't found the card. You know, give me the card, I'll add it. I'll take the gold. I will also go up here and fight an elite, because I think we can. Dude, and honestly, I'm just gonna put up block and wait for Devotion to kill you. If he, it doesn't matter if he attacks three times or two times, we'll be able to kill him before he leaves. So I'm kind of just like, why not? So third eye, path to victory. Third eye, we want an expensive card. Well, we don't get an expensive card, but we do get Deceive Reality. Wait, no, you want Cleansing Evil. No, path to victory makes the cost zero. X is not zero. So yeah, give me a Deceive Reality. Then we put up enough block. Then we wait. He is doing another attack. We can we can deal with that. Then we might as well see what we get from Foreign Influence. We're really just looking for... I mean, Sands of Time for uh, saving is actually pretty good. Uh, we know what we're looking for. We're looking for feed. We're looking for... I don't know if we can get a Ritual Dagger. We're looking for anything that gets just insane value from killing an enemy. We're not really getting it, but that's okay. We're currently in Calm. I don't want to gain block. I just want to... I want to make sure I can kill you next turn, which means, you know, honestly, cleansing evil means that we can kill you next turn. I wish we could actually do some more with the clash, but it's okay. All right. Well, I guess Sands of Time is all we needed. Not a bad fight, though. Third eye, clear the mind, prostrate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this because it reduces the turns required from Divinity from four to three by playing it one time. Gremlin Knob. You are a pain in the butt. Stance Potion. Give me a foreign influence. Dude, you know, is pretty good.
Vigilance, that's pretty good. <sighs> I'm not gonna play Fiendfire. I'm gonna play the Smites. We might be able to kill him with a stance change. It's 24, 24, 24. A little under 75 damage. We need a little bit more damage output to actually kill him. We need more than just one strike. 24, 24, 24. Actually, we'd have we'd have five energy by playing the stance potion. And we would have 24, 24, 24, which is 72 damage. Plus 12, which is 84. Okay, I gotta run the math again. 24 plus 24 is 48, plus 24 is 72, plus 12 is 84. This should be 84 damage. Enter Wrath. 24, 24, 24, 12. We just perfected both Gremlin Knobs with the Watcher. <laughs> is the Watcher really good against the Gremlin Knob? Is it when they designed the character, were they like, how can we make a character who's really good against the Gremlin Knob? Because so far, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna skip these. Definitely give me two upgrades. Deceive Reality is amazing. And against Hexaghost, I kind of feel like getting another upgrade. I'm going to. I'm, I'm gonna run the risk of, of dying. We don't have like an amazing assortment of relics. The cards are pretty decent, but let's let's see what we can get out of this. You know, why not? Andrew, one is enough. Upgraded attacks doesn't really matter too much. I think I'd just rather go for like a a third eye to make the scrying better and to make the card just give you more block. We'll give it a shot. Hopefully we can get some deceive realities and get some safeties into my hand. Next turn, what do we want? Not eruption, not brilliance, and not foreign influence. We want defense. So we'll do it like that. Hit you with the strike. Could have also vigilance to get into the calm state, but we don't care about calm right now. That's pretty good. We're just gonna wait on Devotion. We're gonna get a bunch of smites in hand and then hopefully go for like a one turn KO here. Well, it's gonna be zero. Let's get those smites in our hand. Let's see what we can get from here. We can't apply weakness. Blood for blood might get cheaper over time. It's still not that good, though, but triple damage, it could be amazing. I think I'd rather go for the vulnerability. Ragnarok, 25 damage, which is 75 with triple damage. We'll add it. We're probably not going to play it, but it's okay. Upgraded safety. Give me the safety, and then give me calm. We're going to slow play it. Next turn, he's gonna take a turn off, I think, and we're gonna have triple damage. So we really just wanna focus on block right now and scrying good attacks. And we're holding the smites because they're retained. Yeah, this is our triple damage. Yoink. And then we're gonna smite, smite, strike, strike. And then you might as well eruption into Calm, just to do a little bit more damage. So he's at 76 HP, pretty decent chance we can kill him. All we need to do is prostrate one more time and we'll get another triple damage though before he kills us. So if we need to delay, we can delay. So we need to play prostrate once and we need to play cleansing evil to get some retains. 
could also Brilliance for more energy next turn for the Cleansing Evil, but I really like having the safeties. But... Well, we need them. We'll survive with Prostrate Defend, so maybe we just want to have the energy to get the Cleansing Evils. Um... You know... Let's do it. Game block. Then I would like... I would like... This many. That's a lot. But we're only taking one damage. And this is our triple damage turn. And we should... Oh, I mean, you know. <laughs> That's... Good enough. <laughs> Just using Devotion there. Dude, I love Devotion. I keep calling it Devotion. I, what I mean to say is I love the... Uh, the Divinity state. It's just so good. You gain so much and you lose so little... So, so little from it. I wanna go Sneko? <laughs> I, I don't know if we can make Sneko work. Slaver's Caller is just more energy though, but it would be really awesome to draw like... Day of the form for free. We can add in a lot of the expensive cards. Uh, you know, we don't have a lot of expensive cards. We have one expensive cards and one X card, and then the base Two energy things, Eruption and Vigilance. I don't think you need Sneko here. You can build into it, but I'm just gonna go Slaver's Caller because I like it. You gain extra energy when you need it most on the hard fights. And I think we might even go multiple Elite Path here. I kind of hate this that there's two shops, but if we're, if we're gonna have like 600 gold, two shops could be pretty good for us. So let's go double Elite Path into shops. Now you. A Judgment would be really nice here, but we don't have a Judgment. What we do have instead is Vigilance, Prostrate, Third Eye. Next turn, what do we want? Devotion, Path to Victory, Deceive Reality, Brilliance. Those are all good. I hate the idea of Brilliancing what we get from Deceive Reality, which is going to be one block card. But everything else we're going to be playing. You know, actually, save the defend, because we're going to get enough block from Deceive Reality to defend. We can save safety. So dump Brilliance. We have 21 block in this turn. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Nothing important, anyways. So that's enough block. Path to victory. Because it's a random card, I don't really like doing it here. It could draw Deva form. But we do not have Scry, so we don't we do not know what it's gonna draw. Could go into our high damage state, but I don't think that is wise. If we wait two turns, we'll go into high damage state. So if we're gonna do that, then why don't we put up as much block as we can? Get those smites ready to go. This is going to be... I mean, it's going to be lethal when we get into that, that big state. So all we have to do is stall. All for one. I have nothing that costs zero in my discard pile, I don't think. Just give me a weave. Because, uh... It's going to be putting up block right now. Next turn, what do we want? We don't care about prostrate, we don't care about defend. One Eruption is more damage, but I don't think we care about it. We want Smites and like a Strike, basically. We're gonna have six energy anyways. And we've already played both of our foreign influences, yes. So hit him, hit him, hit him. An upgraded Sanctity is too good to pass up. I know Carve Reality will allow us to add Smites to our hand, but we ha have something that does that already. I feel like because we enter Divinity State, what we want now is stalling. We want to stall. And we do that by... Uh, playing blocks. So I'm gonna get rid of a strike. With two foreign influences, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need bites. 
Especially after just, you know, paying to remove a strike. I could take one damage. I'm okay with that. We could have probably entered Wrath State, but, you know, why? Why bother? Why bother? Why bother? We don't need it. That could work. I would like to play Diva Form and Devotion, but if we can only afford one... Let's get that Devotion out, and we'll strike, and we'll empty. Eight block. Let's defend it. That's enough. And let's see what we get from foreign influence. Let's see if there's anything good here. There isn't, but choke with triple damage could be pretty good. Let's get that in the deck. Block and draw seems pretty good. We do need one monitor to hit it in two turns. Our Divinity States, so we'll do that. Uh, 18, that's enough block. Don't play the Smites. You never want to play a... If you're going for double damage with Wrath, triple damage with Mantra, and you have a Smite, you might as well just save it. Because 36 damage is much better than 12. Now, we actually can't kill him, though. But, we can get him really freaking close. I have to play safety. So let's do this. Then we'll scry. That's not enough damage next turn, but, you know, if we have to use a potion, we can always use a potion. That's good enough. Keep the safety. I think we'll get it out get out of this fight only taking that like one hit. Yeah. I think we only took one point of damage. It's pretty good. Empty Body, that, that's a pretty good card to end Wrath on, or to end Calm in order to get more energy. It is another block card, and we do want blocks in order to wait for Devotion to happen, but do we really need an Empty Body to exit Stance? Not really. We have Sanctity, we have um, Deceive Reality, which is just incredible. We want to add in more of those. So I'm going to skip that. Even though it's upgraded, it could have been a really good addition, but... I'm just gonna say nah. Let's fight an elite. Scares the crap out of me, but here's hoping. Now, we can't only stall here. We have to do some damage. So this could be very scary. I actually like this. Rebound Cleansing Evil means that we can get a lot of smites quickly. Um, but I also do need to kill some enemies. Signature move is incredible! In fact, if we rebound signature move, we'll be able to do 30 damage next turn. That seems really good. So I'm gonna gain block and draw. That means we're taking no damage. Let's add an attack. Lesson learn is definitely what we want. Uh, we can lesson learn the sneaky gremlin, so I'm going to. Although, this means we can't rebound signature move. I'm okay with that, though, in order to get lesson learned. So, we're going to rebound. Yeah, it's got 20 HP. Rebound. Lesson learned. Cleansing Evil got upgraded. It's not upgraded immediately. It'll take next combat for that to happen, but it's still good. We have no energy for Cleansing Evil, unfortunately, but we should save the Miracle, I think. We need to get Devotion out. Done it. <laughs> and now... Honestly, I think you just Brilliance. I really want to have energy coming up on future turns. Diva form has to be played. 
then add a safety, then play the safety. You're doing 20, you're doing 37 damage. We're gonna take two, which is not that bad. I'm also gonna hit you, cause you gotta go. So Gremlin Leader, he's gonna be doing a buff. Next turn, we're going to have triple damage, so we need to get attacks in hand, but we can't get attacks in hand. Cleansing Evil is going to show up next turn, and I can't draw it on this turn, I don't think. This is when, like, Deceive Reality would be really nice if it still had the the safety or wisdom, because I would pay one energy to draw cards next turn, but I can't. I can only get safety, and it seems like a... I mean, it seems like a very big negative. Because it is. We'll add safety. We'll kill him. And then we'll scry. Next turn, what do we want? We want attacks. We don't want cleansing evil, though. Signature move could be... Actually, signature move would do... 90 damage. It's pretty good. Dump. Dump. In fact, we can rebound signature room sanctity signature move. So maybe this is our ideal turn. In fact, maybe this is our ideal turn. We're gonna have nine energy. No, we're not calm. We're gonna have six, we're gonna have seven energy. Rebound, signature move, defend, sanctity. You draw a signature move, you play it, you do 180 damage next turn. So we actually don't wanna scry anything. There's a small chance we won't draw Sanctity, Rebound, or Signature Move. I actually didn't look at the draw pile. I thought it only had five cards in hand. We should have gotten rid of one singular defend. No, we should have gotten rid of Cleansing Evil. That way it would have worked perfectly. I, I should have discarded Cleansing Evil. That's my bad. Um, let's hope. Cr fingers crossed. We don't want the strike. <laughs> That's the card we don't want to draw. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> okay, so what do you do? You only have two attacks. You rebound, you signature move, you defend, sanctity, you draw a signature move, and you have the extra energy so you can play it. Yo, that was a good fight. What's this? Slaver's Collar gives you extra energy. It's an energy relic, but you only get the energy on elite and boss fights, which is usually when you we would want it, so it's pretty good. Fasting, worship, mental fortress, worship, not that important. Fasting. I love artifact protection. We're going to grab that. Let's upgrade. Out of all of these cards, I feel like we should get Diva Form. The extra plated armor is probably worth it. Slavers. Hate him. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Next turn, what do we want? Definitely these. Maybe even Vigilance, but Deceive Reality will give us block. We're waiting on Devotion to win it for us, so let's get Draw going. Although it is block, we'll, we'll keep it, which means we'll only dump that card. This is a pretty bad starting turn for us, though. We don't really get what we want. And we're going to take 12 damage. See what we get. Predator? Good damage, but I think Sweeping Beam for the AoE is what we'd prefer. We're also going to be made vulnerable because we don't have Fasting out yet, so we're not going to be able to play attacks next turn. Kind of sucks. What we might want to do, actually, is Brilliance, so next turn we can play a lot of blocks, but we only we only really have a couple of cards, like Diva Form is the exp most expensive one. So we want to probably save sa save safety. Yeah. So we will enter Calm, and then we'll end turn. Hold on to safety. We'll take zero damage because of the plated armor. Then we'll draw. Has to be played. Should... We don't need to play Fasting, we're not going to be made weak, because they're not doing that on this turn. I think what we would prefer 
is a... Wow, I can't play any of these. But we can hold on to Windmill Strike anyways. What we'd prefer is Block. Yeah. We'll play it like that. We only get Windmill Strike saved, and this is going to be our triple damage turn. Hopefully we have good draw. Not really, but we can at least wipe a couple of enemies. In fact, we can wipe all but one. You're dead. You're dead. Might as well get into the calm state for some benefit. And with 15 plated armor and him not gaining strength, he, sh he shouldn't be able to kill us. So I'm going to wait until we... No, we've already played both foreign influences, never mind. Thought I might, might wait on those and uh, see if we can get like a feed or something, but we've already played them, so it doesn't matter. Plus one strength, I actually like it. I like it a lot. Follow up for extra energy, I don't think we need it. Halt, I don't think we need it. I'm not really going into Wrath, I'm kind of waiting for Divinity. Because I think Divinity is kind of OP, and I really like it. A second Devotion is mandatory. I think a Dex up is smart. Go to the next shop. I'll definitely take whatever this is. Free power. I mean, if it gives us gives us a free diva form, a free uh, evolution, no, uh, devotion, we'd be happy to see it. We're also going to take lesson learned for seventy one. It's on sale. I love it. And then, do you pick up b bottled tornado? You probably want devotion in hand, but would you rather have devotion, fasting, or diva form? Well, if you buy the Clockwork Souvenir, you don't need to play Fasting. <laughs> Lesson learned on the cheap. It's very good. Also, FT Naked Dagger Man. Hello, welcome. What's up? Just playing a run. A run of the Watcher. Um... Diva form early is so good, it's just so expensive. At least with Devotion, you're getting your triple damage turn set up faster. I want them both, but I can't afford them both. We could do artifact card removal. Um... Yeah, I, st I still think that the turn one artifact is important because if you're going up against the heart, if you're going up against a lot of enemies, that turn one artifact can save you a lot of headache. And then you can always play your other fasting on a future turn. Waiting like one or two turns to get devotion up is not that big of a deal. Let's go for artifact protection. And then we can remove a... Probably basic defend at this point. Just keep thinning out the deck a little bit. Not like a 10 out of 10 shot, but I think we made a, a good option. A good call there, I think. So, Devotion, love it. Even form, love it. Already taking no damage. Let's get some cards out. Shuffle through violence into your draw pile. That seems good. If you have the extra energy for it, it's really good. But Sunder is also an energy refund if you can play it. I don't love those, but at least we're taking no damage. We could energy scry, but I'm gonna save the energy itself. Whole deck is based on devotion. Not really, um, but devotion is, it's just like a, it's an easy card to just put into a deck and just leave it there, you know? I love it. You don't need to actually get perfect value out of it. You can just play it and then whenever you get triple damage, hey, nice. So we can't exhaust lesson learned. That is something that is impossible to do. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, what we're gonna do is put up enough block to take no damage and then we don't need to play fasting, but I'm going to. Let's just make sure that we're not gonna be hit by vulner vulnerability nor frailty. And frailty is coming out now.
So we're not, you know, we can get Divinity next turn by playing this Devotion. So we're gonna play Vigilance and Safety. Really want more energy, but I think that's that's your play. I think you say no to Devotion and you wait. What's 16 plus 12? 28? We'd still be taking a little bit of damage. I'd rather take none. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow it. This guy's slowly dying. All we need to do is wait for the uh, lesson learned to get a free upgrade out of it. We're already taking no damage, but this is a pretty good turn to draw just to see what you get. And Devotion means, Devotion plus Prostrate means that next turn we are going, well, I guess you don't need to play Prostrate, but next turn we're gonna get triple damage. Again, ideally, lesson learned. Let's just hit you. I guess it doesn't matter who we hit. If only had the ability to steal from the merchant. Eh, you have, uh, I mean, if you steal from the merchant, and then he goes away forever, what are you gonna do with your money? There's some question marks you can use the money for, but that's ma mainly first floor, I feel. Can I kill you? No. Well, lesson learned. Devotion got upgraded. Decent. Let's gain block and exit this state. We can't get draw right now. So we're just gonna gain block, we will Give ourselves a scry. Next turn, what do we want? I don't want Sunder, I don't want Strike, I want Cleansing Evil. Maybe Devotion, maybe Defend, but we have a safety, we're gonna be fine anyways. Cause it's safety! We have 12 plated armor. You know, this guy's not gonna kill us. And all we need to do is play this. Next turn, we're gonna have triple damage. And I think the Sunder is good enough on its own. Damn, close. <laughs> you get Flex Potion. Cut through Fate is draw. But I, uh, I like Sanctity for my draw. Sanctity is a great card. Maybe switch stances, gain block. Well, we are probably not going to change stances too often. All we need to do is survive one turn and then we're, we're going to have triple damage. Now, I would love the lesson learned. Can we lesson learned on this turn? No, it's too expensive. Unless we pop a flex potion. Make this do 21. Ah, I can't kill you. If I can't kill you, I'd, I'd prefer not to even worry about it. We're not going to exhaust that card. That's, that's, that's asking for trouble. We gain block because we transform stances. Yo, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. End turn. We're gonna take a little. We're gonna take five. So Diva form is nice, but we need to kill. So. I mean, that's 18 damage to all enemies with draw, but this is also just damage. But this is draw. I'm gonna take this. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty good. This is, I mean, this is easily kills, but I would prefer to get the upgrade. Like, kill the ones with the most HP. We'll play Diva Form for the block. We'll play Third Eye in order to get through the deck faster. And a Smite combined with Lesson Learned is a free upgrade. Ooh, Smite is actually a kill. We, we can't Lesson Learned him, unless I pop the potion. You know, I'm gonna do it. I think 
Well, I mean, we got the permanent upgrade, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it's it's important to get that out there, I think. Meditate, enter calm, exhaust cards. It's interesting. Flow state, no. Now, will we rest or upgrade? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest just to make sure that we live. I know we do have the Fairy in a Bottle Potion, but this could be a tough fight. Yo, free Devaform. Love it. Devotion. Yes. Fasting. Yes. Foreign Influence. You might as well just see what you can add to the deck. You know? Free Beam Cell. Not gonna complain about that. Let's also go into Calm State. I mean, yes, we have 21 block per turn. Yes, yes. End turn, you're gonna buff yourself, but I'm gonna have triple damage, hopefully some good attacks. Uh, we had both of our foreign influences already, so I really have no idea. Looks like the answer is no, we're not gonna have any attacks, but that's okay. We can get lesson learned. We might as well. It's not non-minion enemy, it's any enemy, so we might as well kill one. Eruption is upgraded. I mean, we never play it, but... Blood for Blood, Cleave, Cold Snap. I'm gonna play Blood for Blood, because it's a kill. Taking no damage. Let's get the... Let's get Cleansing Evil out there. We need Smites for future turns. We don't need to play the blocks, because we, we get 21 block passively per turn. We don't need it. What I will do, though, is specifically draw another Cleansing Evil. And get a couple more Smites. Triple damage. Artifact, Artifact, Artifact. Taking no damage. And we got another Cleansing Evil. We can just add in like a billion smites to our deck, but I actually don't think it matters. I think the boss is killed. <laughs> Dude, this character, once you, once you unlock cards, apparently, it's pretty easy. Whenever you play a card, upgrade it. Ideally, everything is going to be upgraded. Scry your draw pile. That's a very good card. We're going to take it. And then honestly, I, I feel like Let's go Black Star and then fight Elites. I, I want to play potions. The potions have been buffed. Maybe we can get, get some more potion-based relics. Let's go for Black Star. We're gonna have four energy on the Elite fight, so it's not that much of a problem. Let's go for it. You guys are talking about making the shops better. Making it so you have to fight an elite fight if you steal from the shopkeeper or piss him off. There's some interesting ideas there. Hmm. Preserved Insect. I don't have Preserved Insect, but that would work very well with Slaver's Call or Black Star. Let's play some powers. Are we going to scry? I think we should. Do we need to? Maybe we'd just rather hold on to the miracle. Let's hold on to the miracle. Hmm. Am I gonna go for the heart? Probably, Fig Breaker. I don't see why not. I tend to go for the heart on these, so. I hate that we drew two dazes, because uh, that meant we can't couldn't do anything on this turn. But they are adding four dazes every turn, so it kind of sucks. We are not going to be able to kill this guy. I'm also not going to be able to... Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to kill him. This is 12 damage. It's not enough. However, if I Cleansing Evil Miracle and then play the Smite, it would be enough damage to kill him. I don't want to play Path to Victory, because it might not draw anything that's playable. So we're going to Poison Stab. 
We are going to Cleansing Evil, Miracle, Smite. Gotta make sure he's dead, because I don't want to take 30 damage. A bit of an annoying slow play, but... You know, we're just kind of waiting on... Yo! Kind of just waiting on Devotion. I guess, you know, Mercury Hourglass would kill him eventually anyways. We're gonna take one damage. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Uh, I suppose what we want to do now is actually just wait and hope that on this turn we draw greed again. Nope. Oh, that's an annoying fight. Protect Sanctity. I love Sanctity. Card draw plus good block. Gotta go left. Mental Fortress. Not what we're looking for. All for one. Nothing's gonna be zero. Yeah. So I'm gonna take Conclude. And probably a Bludgeon. Can I get a kill? No. No. So if we can't get a kill, we should probably just put up some blocks, which is gonna be... I mean, we actually can't really do that much on this turn. You know, I, I I can get one kill. 33 plus 15 is 48. Means we're putting up no block, but... It's still probably worth it. We're only putting up six block if we play the defend anyways. And really, we're just kind of waiting on something like this with the diva form. However, um... I think we're gonna have to do it like this to take no damage, unfortunately. Having so little energy on room fights is a bit annoying. Scry, what do we want next turn? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. You know, actually, Omniscient's Path to Victory can make an expensive card cheap, and we have not played Diva Form, so we can guarantee getting that for two energy, which is not that bad. We're gonna take one. Okay, next turn we are going to hit Divinity. Can cancel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, how much energy do I have? I have cancel energy. Uh, excuse me? So we want to get Diva Form out on this turn, which we can do. Yoink. Love that combo. Now we have enough block. Let's hit you. End turn. Triple damage. Hopefully we get lesson learned. I'm not sure this actually works, but I'm going to assume not, because it doesn't kill an enemy until you kill all three of them. Which is annoying, but I understand. Let, let's try it. Didn't work. Judgment, conclude, evaluate. Shuffle an insight for draw. Dude, I, you know what? I need draw? Let's take evaluate. It's a retained draw. I kind of like it. Now you could be an annoying fight, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We will have to rest probably after this elite, but that's okay. Master Reality, Smite or Safety, add one to your hand at the beginning of each turn. Yo, it's pretty good. I think I'll take a Safety. 12 block every turn. I'll also go for an Influence. A second lesson learned is pretty nice. We're not gonna play him on this turn. We're gonna take damage. Nothing we can do. Um, next turn, what do we want? We want Devotion, Sanctity, Prostrate. Also, hey, this is an elite fight. Where's my energy? I guess you don't get the energy. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Okay, just dump everything. Then what are we taking? We're gonna take Path to Victory. We're gonna take Scry, which is Third Eye. We're going to take Prostrate, we're going to take Devotion, and we're going to take Deceive Reality. 
Because what I want to have happen is third eye into Path to Victory and then play something for free. Now, if we're not doing anything else with our turn, we might as well fast. These guys get super strong. I know, these guys are very annoying. Oh, they also added the burns to the draw pile. I forgot that they do that. That is very unfortunate. It's still fine, I think, because we can just play everything. Only taking damage because of the burns. That's pretty good draw. We're gonna block up. We only need to wait one more turn before we can hit him hard, but they are gonna be doing 50 damage, good lord. Diva form's too little too late, we need block, and we do have good block. So what we're gonna do is, I think, Sanctity, Sanctity, Third Eye to get good draw next turn. Sanctity, Sanctity, Third Eye. We don't want burns, or eruptions, or defends. We want damage, raw damage. Now we're gonna be extremely low. We might, in fact, die here. Hopefully not, but you never know. We just got a whirlwind, we got a whirlwind. As much as I hate it, because it means we're not hitting lesson learned, we, we just gotta kill him. Hopefully it's worth it. Tori might be worth it. And then, you know, we do have meat on the bone. We haven't had an opportun opportunity to use it yet, but there you go. I'm gonna hold on to Perseverance. We're gonna duplicate a card. What are we gonna duplicate? Probably Diva Form. I would like 24 plated armor. I will add in one colorless card. It will be. Give me a discovery. Who knows what you're gonna get out of discovery? We also got a free Diva Form. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, so, discovery. Dude, honestly? Give me that protect, we'll hold it. Give me a. Give me a swift potion. Heals us up a little bit as well. Evaluate seems nice. Path to victory seems pretty good. We're gonna be playing powers though. Diva form, devotion. Evaluate for draw in the future is really nice. Give me a path to victory. Secondary devotion. So we're gonna have triple damage when he's not buffed. It's perfect. Now I could scry, and if we scry, we'd probably go for a uh, diva form deceive reality. Seems really good. But we might just wanna hold on to the miracle. We could scry for Sanctity to see reality. We could scry for brilliance and then just gain a lot of energy that we can't use next turn. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the miracle. We wanna be able to play the protect, perseverance. We have blocks coming up. Lizard Tail 2. You know what? That's a very good point. We have Lizard Tail. We have the fairy in a bottle, we have meat on the bone. We actually do have some pretty decent sustain if we die, because we don't technically die, we will live. So we're gonna do this. We are going to not worry about this, but it's free, we're gonna play it. We have enough block. Might as well, if we have enough block, play our powers. And next turn, we are going to get insight and a bunch of strikes. That's pretty decent. We'll also play Cleansing Evil. We have enough blocks in hand, we'll be fine. We're just gonna wait on Lesson Learn to get the KO though. So. 
Strike. Strike. We have energy. Honestly, give me the draw. Taking no damage. I'm gonna skip because I don't want to th thicken up the deck. We want to specifically get to specific cards. And uh, I guess we'll just add some smites. In fact, let's play one of them just to do some more damage. Okay, that's our block. Hit you for one. The, wait, the burn hit first? I thought plated it armor hit before burn. Did that change? That may have changed in the uh, in the new version of the game with the Watcher character, because I'm I was pretty sure that the burn happened after plated arm, armor, but I don't know. Maybe it has been changed. Anyways, we're taking no damage, and we are not killing you. So let's make sure we have more safeties. We don't want to add too many smites. In fact, we don't want to add any smites. We want to specifically kill you with one card. Forty-five damage. We can't necessarily draw what we want next turn, which is lesson learned. Although we can get an insight and then put a block. We have thirty-three block already. We don't need that much. That's more than enough. So let's scry and dump the things that we don't want to draw. In fact, no, we, we can definitely do it. Omniscient Sanctity means it's guaranteed. Okay. In fact, Omniscient's Insight means it's guaranteed. Yeah, we're guaranteed to draw the... Because um, he's not adding burns. We're guaranteed to draw a lesson learned. We have to finagle it, but we can make it happen. So you draw, make sure you get the shuffle, omniscience, lesson learned is somewhere in the deck, I don't know where is it. Wait, where'd it go? Excuse me? Did it, did it exhaust? I didn't play him, did I? Prostrate, deceive reality, cleansing evil, burn, strike, third eye, vigilance, protect, brilliance, evaluate, less, oh there it is. You know what, I, I, I thought I had two for some reason. It's stupid, but I thought I had two of them because I thought that one of the zero-cost cards added one, but that was a previous combat. There it is. Anyways, insight. There's lesson learned. There's a free upgrade. Fasting, decent. Intangibility is wonderful. Toxic egg means that all skills will be upgraded, but I don't really feel the need to add any skills right now. What I do feel the need to do is fight another elite because we healed up nicely. Yes, yes. Taking no damage, that's pretty good. Um, let's get fasting though. I think that getting devotion and fasting is super important because he's not attacking next turn. So let's make sure we get, actually how about this? Devotion, fasting, devotion, Foreign influence. Nah, leave. Just dump them. Just dump them. We're not doing anything else next turn, anyways, because we don't have the energy. But I want to play those three things. Important, important, important. Now he's he's never hit. He's never hitting me with constriction ever. We are, however, going to take a little bit of damage, but that's not too bad. Unless we get weakness. We did get Hand of Greed. I'm going to add it. You know, we have 21 Blade and Armor. Of course we're not going to take damage. Uh, but we're, we're taking Hand of Greed, obviously, because we want to be able to play it or Lesson Learned. One or the other is okay with me. So, honestly, we'll just keep ending turn. I should be fine if fasting doesn't get drawn. Correct. However, he will reapply constriction. Three fasting gives me like 12 turns of not having to worry about it. That's why I did that. 
So we're going to take Smite. We want to tax now. We are going to skip. Get that insight shuffled. We don't need to worry about blocking, which is why I felt like the smite was okay. Allows us to get him low as well with the uh, little hits here and there. We'll uh, smite, strike. Can I get two attacks? Well, I can't get what I want. You know, there's a shop coming up. Let's get gold. I'd like to buy some more relics. Do we need third eye? I think we would for allowing us to scry into draw, but we have omniscience. And upgraded, it doesn't exhaust, right? Yeah. So maybe we, we won't take anything. I do like Empty Mind for leaving Calm. And it is draw, but Sanctity is my preferred draw. Let's fight the Elite. Dagger Boy. Little unfortunate. We don't need Fasting at all. So if we don't need Fasting at all, we should Diva Form. We should probably just play a Potion. A free to see reality is okay, it adds a safety, we're taking no damage. We do need to kill the dagger on this next turn, and likely the Reptomancer is going to attack as well, but we can probably make that happen. Could just gain another 12 plated armor, but we're taking damage. This is going to be free? So I think you definitely take a free protect. Actually can't kill you, <laughs> annoyingly enough. Uh, but we can gain a lot of block. Just gain as much as you can, Diva Form, safety, take. I mean, that'll be another 28, 40, 54 block? 54 block is pretty good. We can slow play a little bit. The wounds don't really bother me too much. And we're not perfect, but we're on meat on the bone territory right now, which is good. So. You know. They're all pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go Carnage though, just to make sure that you die. Now we're taking no damage, and let's scry. We want to hit Devotion, and we also maybe want to Brilliance cards that we don't want in the future. So, what do we want? We want Devotion, Prostrate, Evaluate, Brilliance, and uh, give me a foreign influence. Let's see what we get out of it. That'll be my turn next turn. Reptomancer's probably not gonna attack. You are attacking. Well, I wish I'd put up some more blocks. <laughs> we still have blocks, which is nice, but I wish I had more. Let's see what we get. Hand of Greed, I'll always add it, just in case we get a kill with it. In fact, we can use Lesson Learn to kill a dagger and use Hand of Greed to kill the minion. Or the, the boss, rather. Which is pretty good. We're doing 30 damage. We now have enough block. So we'll play Hand of Greed. It'll get upgraded, so it'll give us more gold when we actually do get a kill with it. But we want to save Lesson Learn now for the uh, minions, I suppose. Huh. I don't care about Carnage anymore. <laughs> Hate to say it. We could insight something, but let's let's hold it. We're also intangible. Completely forgot about Incense Burner. I guess we haven't really had an opportunity to use it, huh? Could be a good eruption turn, because next turn the enemies will not be... Or I should say we will not be uh, 
affected by double damage. But let's draw first. I'm just, I'm looking for lesson learned and we're not gonna get it. If we're not gonna get it, I kinda want the dagger to live. Because it means that we're more likely to draw it and get a kill with lesson learned. We do get the wound, but there's lesson learned. So there's our upgrade. Now we can use greed to kill the Reptomancer. All we need is one block to take no damage. Let's make sure we can scry good stuff, which is you and you. So that's actually a pretty good turn next turn. I'll add in a few smites as well, just to make sure that we have lethal in the future. I uh, probably shouldn't retain this many cards though, <laughs> now that I'm realizing it. So, uh, hey, give me some more draw. Dump some of the smites. I should have played Devotion. We needed it to get to Divinity, but luckily we didn't draw Hand of Greed. Would like to kill you though. Just like slowly playing all of our billion powers. Here we go. War Paint and Bag of Prep. We switch stances, draw a card. Eh, because I'm not going between Wrath and Calm frequently, I'm not gonna take this. A Protect is pretty good block to have. And it's upgraded. I'll grab it. Upgrade two random skills. Take Bag of Prep. I do like Bag of Prep with Protect, because if we can draw it, we can hold it for however long we need. And Potion Belt. Makes me feel glad that I didn't take the Sozu, because ideally we can just stack up potions and keep them forever. We have two devotions already, right? One, two. All right, we don't need another one. We don't need any of these either. So I'm kind of thinking, take nothing? We're gonna find more shops in the future, so I'll just like remove a card. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that we need anything, so I'm just going to remove a base level defend. I'm going to take the protect because it's 22 gold. It's 22 gold. That's nothing. That's nothing. Maybe change stances, draw a card, then... Devotion, Devotion. I would like to gain some Cleansing Evils. Could Brilliance for energy, but Cleansing Evil is like a main source of damage, so I really don't want to get rid of those. Fasting? Fasting would have been nice to draw on this turn so we're not weak next turn, which is going to be our triple damage turn. And I don't have any draw. Yeah. Well, if we can't do what we want to do, what we're going to do is scry. We want to do a lot of damage. Foreign influences are good. Deceive reality is pretty decent. Path to victory is good. Discovery is also good. So we're going to dump. those. We're going to have a five card hand next turn of foreign influence, deceive reality, blocks, and discovery. We're also going to go into the calm state so we have extra... Right, forgot about that. Uh, we're going to go into the calm state so we have extra uh, energy next turn because we're going to have a lot of cards in hand. So discovery. Scry three, enter wrath at the start of your next turn. Simmering fury. That's scary. I also can't scry because I have an empty draw pile. So I think what we're going to do is actually just go for a just lucky. Actually, we do have draw with path to victory, but I really don't want Simmering Fury to take double damage. We're just going to do it like this and... Uh, like this. I think an upgraded glass knife is awesome.
let's draw a card at random. Th that's the foreign influence I wanted, so there you go. <laughs> Sands of Time, triple damage, I love it. Talk to the Hand for block is also really nice, though. But this is just more damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We will need to play some block. So let's play one Perseverance. Then we'll start going to town. I would like to discard that card, please. Then Smite, Smite, Glass Knife, Sands of Time. It's 115 damage attack, it's pretty good. And... I mean, there's our block. He is going to be doing a mass attack on this turn, but we also have triple damage once again. Can we get lesson learned, you think? Well, we will need to put up some block. Unless we just want to go full diva form. Which we can probably do, and then maybe just gain Cleansing Evil and then hold onto the blocks forever. Because I'm, I'm not killing him with Lesson Learned on this turn, so we might as well slow play it a little bit. 24. We're at 29 block. I'll do it. And then I'll hit ya. And I'll hit ya. Really want to play Cleansing Evil, but I also want to save Lesson Learned. So I can't, like, Cleansing Evil, Brilliance, and then play the cards that we drew. I guess Brilliance would also get rid of them. It doesn't matter. 35. We need to put up another 11 block. Sanctity almost gets us there. Protect does get us there. Although, an Evaluate Sanctity definitely gets us there with Draw. Okay, I, I actually like this. Gain a couple of smites. Slow playing it, waiting for lesson learned, which we do have now. And we we almost certainly have a kill. Yeah, almost certainly. In fact, nearly certainly. I would be surprised if we didn't. 39 damage, lesson learned, love it. We get White Bee Statue, very good. Means we can actually hold up a lot of potions for later fights. Do I need to get set up for Incense Burner? That's a very good point. We accidentally did it. Against Timekeeper, it doesn't matter. But for the Elite in the Heart, we need to pay attention to Incense Burner for the fourth act. It's very important. I actually think another Cleansing Evil is not bad. Because it allows me to actually get set up on on more frequent turns, basically. Even right now, I'm like, we could play Brilliance and then have like five extra energy, we'll have another Cleansing Evil in the deck, we can maybe play one Devotion first, but we have more already in the deck anyways, like we can actually deal with this now. In fact, I'm gonna do exactly that. Now having a second Cleansing Evil means I, I can do this, I can play Brilliance and we have duplicates of basically everything that we want in the deck. We're already taking no damage, so I'm kind of like cleansing evil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to discard some stuff though. I, you know, actually, it's free. Okay, now you got me interested. Now we're in Calm. Let's add a few 
smite. Oh my god, my hand is full. <laughs> that happened very quickly. Uh, oops. Um, well, I mean, this is what we hold on to everything for. By the way, we're taking taking no damage. Doesn't matter. But this is why we hold on to the uh, miracles and attacks, I suppose. Um, miracle, sanctity. Can I kill you? Like, I just, I just want to make you like die. Play the miracle. Play the miracle. Play the protect. Play the smite. Get you closer to death. I, I. Mess this up a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Lesson learned is going to come up next turn on triple damage. That's very nice. So on this turn, I think what we want to do is... I mean, if we, if we erupt Vigilance, we can end turn in Calm, but I don't think it matters. I think it... I think what we want to do is just this. We're two cards away from official thick deck status. <laughs> We're currently taking no damage, but we didn't get lesson learned, and we don't have draw. But we can get an enemy close enough to die next turn. In fact, the spiker can easily be killed next turn if we can save protect, which we can do if we kill the spheric guardian. Which we can probably do. In fact, we can definitely do. So now, all we really need to do is just make sure that we're drawing it. Lesson learned, we still have a smite in hand. We don't need omniscience. We have plenty of block and protect and safety and perseverance. We got him. We got him. I think, yeah, lesson learned is cheaper. So all we need is safety, smite, lesson learned. Omniscience got upgraded, and we got a duplication potion. I love it. Ah, don't need those. We are going to get the ruby key right now, though, because we still haven't picked it up yet. Let's make sure we get it. Nah, 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 nah. I kind of want that. Now, do we need to rest? The question should be, do we need to upgrade? And I think the answer to that is no. Discovery can give us extra cards more frequently, but do we really need it? I don't think so. I think we don't need to rest. Or I, sh I should say, I think we don't need to upgrade. Let's just do a rest. You know, we know how to win against this boss. We play our powers and then we wait. So we should be fine. Master Reality, definitely gonna play it for safety. Then Devotion. We have Intangibility, by the way, so we actually are uh, much better off than I thought we would be. Well, if we have no Intangibility next turn, but we have Omniscience this turn, we should play it. We could draw a one energy card we want to play. You know what? Omniscient Sanctity and play Brilliance. Yeah, I really like that idea. That means we'll have a, a ton of energy to play in the future. We'd lose artifact protection, but he only does uh, draw reduction in weakness, I think. All right, you know what? I like it. So we want, honestly, we want to draw Wrath, which we have. We want to draw the Strike, and we want to draw Brilliance. We don't care about a Strike, we have enough attack, and uh, maybe we should have gone Smite with the Master Reality, but it doesn't matter. Confirm, then Sanctity, then just immediately Brilliance. We could Fasting Brilliance. You know what? Let's do that. Now we got a lot of energy. You're not even doing anything on this turn. If you're not doing anything, why am I here? I'm like... <laughs> it's, it's not even worth playing anything on this turn. 
Give me an insight into the draw pile. We're just gonna hold on to everything. My hand is full. Yeah, I kind of see that. We have to play five cards. We should play a safety. We should play a protect. Let's also insight. Path to victory. And prostrate. It's kind of a horrible draw. I mean, the miracles, they are kind of taking up hand space, but I'm hoping to, there we go, eventually get our good powers out there. Now we have uh, triple damage, but no attacks. <laughs> it's okay. It really is okay. You know, playing two cards a turn and getting powers out there is actually, like, decent. So we're gonna... Safety? Sanctity? Uh, Diva form, devotion, cleansing evil, deceive reality, discovery still coming up. Should probably play some more cards, but, like, we just, we just don't need to. I know we can only draw, like, three cards. Two cards. We can only draw two cards. <laughs> but really, this is the turn I'm looking for. Cleansing evil. Because now, we can safety. Safety. Miracle. 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 Cleansing evil. Now we got a lot of smites. <laughs> so, uh... Suppose on this turn what we should do is, uh, we're intangible. We could wait, attack next turn, do a lot of damage, but we should probably get rid of some of these. We haven't even gone through our deck once yet. There we go. 33 damage. We have 12 block. Um, I'd rather take none, which does require playing two blocks, which we can do. Two safeties will get us there. Now, he is not gonna buff? No, he is, barely. He's barely gonna clear his debuffs on this turn, so this is a good turn to, to wait. Or to play a lot of cards. Next turn, let's play three cards. Diva Form, Devotion, and something else. Diva Form, Devotion, and uh, we actually can't play another card. <laughs> I thought I had extra energy. <laughs> That's okay. You know, we can we can gain a lot of block very easily. He's not even attacking, which is perfect. Um, so I guess we will just Vigilance. Gives us a lot of energy this upcoming turn. You're doing 48 damage. Should not be a problem, actually. Let's make you vulnerable. <laughs> I have no... You got no attacks. <laughs> we have no attacks in this deck anymore. Play the safeties. Honestly, just get them out of here. Get our smites out. I, I realize that we, we definitely did not need um, Master Reality safety. Master Reality smite would have been so much better. Abe's gonna get Watcher to 20 before the defect. Dude, honestly, why not? F the defect on Ascension 20. <laughs> Can I play five cards? Yes. 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 Do I want to? Eh, that's another question. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Still looking for a lesson learned KO, so if we 
can avoid killing him, we should. We should also maybe avoid killing him so that we can get some more uh, intangibility sooner. Twelve damage four times. Yeah, this is good. I'll, I'll kill him with lesson learned, and we won't worry about intangibility. I think. Like, wh when do we want intangibility on the fight? Turn two. You want intangibility on turn two versus the uh, the elites. Turn one, if you're going to be playing a lot of powers, so maybe we'd actually prefer to wait until incense burner is on turn one. I don't know. I don't know. But we can we can delay right now, so let's do it. You mentioned defect runs could go smoother with upgrades to potions. I mean, just with the balance changes in general, I think the defect could be a lot easier with Ascension 20, but I don't know if they made Ascension 20 more difficult in certain situations. Uh, we can play eight cards. It's a lot of cards. It's pretty good. I think I'm going to go wireheading. And, uh, you know, just... Gain some block and get some card draw and keep insight. I would love to get incense burner to five and kill this guy on the same turn. I need to, I do need to dump my hand of stuff though. Like, dump. Protect, Vigilance, Third Eye. You can't scry when you play Third Eye as your last card? That's BS. That's BS. And you know it, game. Okay, Incense Burner's at three. Lesson Learn's coming back around. We can always draw it with, like, Insight and Sanctity and stuff like that. So we're actually, you know, we're okay. That's 75 incoming damage. That's a lot of incoming damage. Let's draw. That is enough block. If we kill him next turn, what's happening? If we kill him next turn, we'll have intangibility on turn two of the elite fight. Is that okay? I think that's okay. So let's make sure that we got him next turn with Lesson Learned. We'll dump cards from our hand and uh, make sure we only have Lesson Learned in the draw pile. Insight's okay as well. Yeah, this is, this is an okay turn to kill because we'll have Intangibility on turn two. And I'm okay with that. You know, you know how much damage is incoming turn one. At max, it's 10 on the right and 20 on the left. But on Ascension 18, it's going to be uh, 12 on the right, 21 on the left. So I think this is fine. Yeah, I did see the change to Flying Kite, and that is a, a very good change. <laughs> Flying Kite being changed is, uh, it makes it playable as a relic. Tungsten Rod. Whenever you lose HP, lose one less. Dude, it's the perfect counter. <laughs> it's the perfect counter to Beat of Death. This means that Beat of Death doesn't affect you as much. Dude, that is incredible. I knew that this was in the game because I, I read it, but I didn't. I've never seen it before. This is this is amazing. Yeah, uh, previously it was... Actually, I don't remember what it was previously. That's a good one. Absolutely gonna buy that. Now here's the question. Do you go with Strange Spoon? Uh, <laughs> hmm. 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 I'm gonna go with Strange Spoon because it'll make... The Smites and the blocks come back around sooner, but, you know, we don't need them to not exhaust. <sighs> I'm gonna do it anyways. Give me the strange spoon. It's funny. <laughs>
It's weird. Let's get weird with it. All right. So, uh, why do I only have four energy? Oh, right, because it doesn't give us four of three. It gives us four of four. So, 18 on the left. I thought it was 20. Must be later. And guy on the right's doing 10. Should have bought some potions, I'm realizing. Uh, you're doing a lot of damage next turn. Hopefully we'll be able to deal with it. I don't really want to play Duplication Potion right now. I don't really have a lot of good stuff. Let's see what we get. Sunder. It's not going to be free, is the thing. It's going to cost three. So yes, I could get Sunder, and I could double play it maybe on the guy on the left, but it's not enough to kill him. I think we'd prefer to have Clash, because we can actually play it immediately. No, I forgot. It's not what. <laughs> it's not Clash. It's um, signature move. Signature move. Signature move can be played if you have no attacks in hand. Clash is played when you have only attacks in hand. I got them mixed up. That's okay. Yeah, we gotta put up some blocks in this turn. We're gonna get hit. I want to discovery. And I want blocks on the next turn. It's kind of a horrible turn for us, but uh, it is what it is. I shouldn't say horrible, it's not that bad. We're gonna take a little damage, who cares? Tungsten rod. Tori Tungsten Rod. Whenever you would lose HP, lose one less. Tori, any attack that does five damage goes to zero. That's one hell of a combo. It means, dude, on the heart, when the heart does four times 15, that's zero damage. You don't have to put up any block. <laughs> that's incredible. That's amazing. I love it. Anyways, we're going to play this. Uh, yeah, I would like to wish. When you wish upon a star, you get the same run in a row as Watch R. How can I not? We got 24 bladed armor. Uh, next turn, what do we want? Next turn, I would like... Probably just like Devotion Diva form, but maybe we can make a more interesting turn happen. We want Insight, we want Cleansing Evil, we want Devotion, we want Diva form. We need more energy. We have a Miracle. Um, we play Path to Victory. Sure. No, wait, we unselect that one. Select that one. Yeah, it's fine. Well, end turn. <laughs> 51 damage. Well... We really want to play Devotion. I also would like to draw. I have no scry, but that's okay. Let's insight. Well, that's a draw. There's my scry. So if we scry, we might be able to get a free card with... Never mind, we don't have it. Where's... I thought we had a card that allowed us to draw a card that was free, but I don't see it in my hand, so I suppose we don't actually have it. We currently have 44 block. We need to put up another seven. Okay, that's been done. No point playing it, no point not playing it. Bomba is an ideal pattern for incense burner. You just, you do not 
want to end this fight on two or five. If you do, you're getting no value out of Incense Burner. You want to end the fight on not two and not five. That's the only criteria. Ideally, you end it on three or four. So that when you are vulnerable and frail, you have the intangibility. But if you have to end it on zero or one, that's fine. Just do not end it on two or five. That's the only rule. The only rule. Stay in school. That is a horrible card, but it also comes back every turn, so I'll take it. We didn't draw because we played an attack. Lovely. <laughs> well, I mean, that's enough block. Oh, we changed our stance, so there you go. We're also going to change our stance, um, well, actually not at the end of next turn because we've already left our... Um, divinity state. But whenever we enter and exit, and exit divinity, we're going to get it for free. That one attack that's in our discard pile. Our card rec oh, reduces cost to zero. Brilliance, turn everything into energy. Give me the uh, plated armor. Now we're taking no damage. Then... That card is not exhausted, and we have a protect. It's not that bad. We're going to have a lot of energy. We need more draw, but we only have the one insight. I would like to dump cards in hand in that case. Like, dump a, dump a strike. Cost zero this turn. Dump a protect. I'm okay having the insight in my hand because the insight means I can draw. I don't. I don't mind it. Also, I couldn't draw the card because we have no no uh, room in our hand to play it. Lovely. <laughs> this can't do anything. <laughs> We're gonna hit you. Play insight. Might as well gain more mantra. Might as well put a block, I suppose. We'll, uh, scry. We want to scry into Cleansing Evil. And Insight. Everything else can be discarded. End turn. I want Cleansing Evil so I can stack up attacks for the turn after this. Actually, we could enter in. We can enter into our divinity form this turn, so what I'm gonna do is cleansing evil prostrate. Now we have extra damage on smites, so there you go. There you go. There you go. I will miracle just to play another card, and let's enter. That was pretty good. We're also intangible. Remember, ideally three or four, but never two or five. I mean, I don't really want that. I'm okay having the smite. Let's draw more. Let's vigilance and and turn. Thirty-eight damage. I mean, all we need to play is one block to get there. We need to make sure that you are getting close to lethal, but not quite on lethal. So we'll smite, and we will play a lot of block cards because we definitely don't need this many cards. Well, in turn. Now, lesson learned is not coming up. That's okay. Maybe we can get a lesson learned? No. Uh, if I'm... Yeah, uh, mm, mm, sure, give me, give me this. Give me this. Good. Stuff is finally exhausting. Which is what I care about right now. Um, 
don't have omniscience. That's okay. Actually, our hand is like okay to dump. We're only gonna have two cards, which means we can draw a whole lot. Tori and Rod give me an effect of 40 pass passive block. You're right, it actually is 41 block, technically. Um, this is kind of what I want. Next turn, we can guarantee ourselves brilliance and we'll be on four, which is acceptable. So we're gonna omniscience. This is not what we want though. We're gonna omniscience. And we are going to make sure the only card in the draw pile is Lesson Learned. I will also take a smite to make sure I have enough damage output. And then now all we do is end turn. You know, I, actually I could Sanctity and then draw them right now. Sure. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, except I can't kill you. No, I actually totally can. There's our last upgrade. We've done it. Evaluate. We get Kunai, which might matter, an attack potion. We don't have a wire heading. Um, it's it's good to have. I'll add it. <laughs> we have a tw one away from thick deck status. And in theory, we take no damage. Yep. Although that does trigger Centennial Puzzle, which is real nice. So yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty awesome. Now, can I get fasting? I would like to get fasting. We can scry, but we can't draw. So we're, we're gonna discovery. Dude, I've never seen this. I don't even know what it does. How can I not? How can I not? Alpha add beta, beta add omega, omega. Hmm? Now, should we double up on it? Double Alpha, Beta, Omega. Don't tell me what it does. I'm not. I'm not reading that. I don't. I want to know what it does on my own. I want to be surprised. It just doing 50 damage doesn't seem that good. But I mean, maybe it'll surprise me. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading chat anymore. You guys spoil too much. We should definitely play the potions though. You know, I, I suppose it doesn't matter when we play it because if we wait, then we can double up on Omega. So let's play Alpha, which added a beta. Then let's play some cards. Third Eye, Blind. Fasting, I would like to draw on this turn, but we cannot draw it unless we foreign influence into something that has draw. So I'm just gonna do it like this and uh, see what we get. Bludgeon, Crush Joint, Step and Strike. Crush joints could be good for for vulnerability. Yeah, definitely not drawing anything. Talk to the hand is really good. We're gonna do that. And then let's prostrate. Make sure you're vulnerable. Should have done that before. I'd rather not play Brilliance. The miracles are too much. Let's just, let's just evaluate and turn. Spoiling is a beta move. I'm a lambda. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So because I didn't get fasting, we are frail and weakened, but we are not vulnerable. And you're also doing no damage. And we're gonna have intangibility on the turn when he's doing for one. I literally do not need to put up any block. I love it. Um, we're gonna Devotion, Wireheading, Fasting, Path to Victory, and turn. That's a pretty good turn. <laughs> Dude, that's so good! <laughs> Tungsten Rod is such a good relic going up against the heart. It's incredible. That's incredible. That's actually wonderful. And I'm definitely gonna double up on Diva Form. And here, let's um Probably Scry Devotion Diva Form.
And we'll hold on to Insight because it... Oh, and we'll get Beta. Oh, but we need one card in the discard pile. Right, okay, so... Ah, but we're not going to be able to play it next turn. Ah! I need energy! How do I get more energy? <sighs> well, I mean, this is enough. We'll just have to Beta as soon as we can. We got plenty of block. We're gonna be slow playing a little bit until we can actually get all of these powers played and everything. Thanks, Void. Uh, Diva Form, Miracle, Devotion. Might as well Foreign Influence. I don't mind retaining a, an attack. I will also end turn. You're doing 42 damage. I already have 36 block. I need to put up one to take none. So, here's your block. Then, let us hit you. I will close line. I will hit you with crushed joints. We got more than enough block. Three lives, I do have three lives. Lizard tail, fairy in a bottle, and this one. We don't want brilliance, we don't want strike. Hey, we don't have to put up any block this turn. Beta, add an, an omega to the bottom of your draw pile exhaust, yes. Let's also dump the slime. Let's also play third eye, and then we'll scry. It didn't exhaust! <laughs> We're gonna scry it out anyways, but I wanna hit that Omega. Whatever it is, I wanna see it. What? Oh, you know what? It still removes plated armor if you get hit for zero with tungsten. That's okay, but it's just good to, to know that that's how that works. Okay, Omega. At the start of your turn, deal 50 damage to all enemies. But it's a power. At the start of every turn, do 50 damage? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're gonna definitely play that one. We have the energy for it, so let's do it. Then, give me a talk to the hand. Dude, I will make you vulnerable, why not? Give me a Omniscience. What do we want next turn? I think the weakness is actually good. Because he could be doing 6x six da six damage and I don't want him to do 6x damage. So we're going to do it like this. I think a Deceive Reality is nice. We do want Block on the next turn. Give me Prostrate as well. And Insight. And... Let's add a couple of attacks. We don't have very many attacks, but we do have the uh, high damage from Omega, 50 damage every turn. All we need to do is live long enough. Six times 12. Yeah. Actually, no, with the 35 plated armor, we're definitely putting up enough block, and now we're intangible. So dump all these. Actually, just dump that one. This could still give us something good. Body slam. Body slam. Mm. I mean, you know. It's a 252 damage attack. That's pretty, it's max damage, that's pretty good. Thunk. Yeah, I think we're gonna discard those cards. You think we can get to lesson learned? Get a free upgrade? Add a safety to your hand. Well, we do wanna hit you. 
Make you vulnerable for two turns. Do 27. No, he's gonna die! I accidentally killed him! <laughs> and I don't have the energy! I just have to hope that we get lesson learned! Don't you, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me, man! Don't you die on me! Oh, he's gonna die. Still. I think we perfected the boss. <laughs> With Omega. Dude, that is, uh, that's awesome. Tungsten Rod Tori. So you take no damage on Beat of Death. And on the like two times fifteen attack that the or four times fifteen attack that the heart does, you take no damage, but you do lose any plated armor from the hits. That's still incredible. Tungsten rod, man, it's so good against the heart. Like unbelievably good, and with Tori taking no damage for like two of his first. Five attacks? That's incredible! That's so good. Strike Dummy. Cards containing Strike deal three additional damage. Ironclad, I could see that being very useful because Twin Strike is all of a sudden six extra damage. Teardrop Locket. Start each combat in Calm. Yo, that's pretty nice! It would very much incentivize changing stances. Cloak Clasp. At the end of your turn, gain two block for each card in your hand. I could see this working for the Watcher specifically because of the fact that you have um, a lot of retain cards. You won't need to retain safety as often, you can st uh, start retaining smites. But I also, th also see this working in a Runic Dome, sorry, r Runic Dome? Runic Pyramid deck, sorry. Or a uh, Silent deck if you have well laid plans. You can just hold 10 cards, or like 5 cards, and gain 2 block per card. It's 10 free block every turn by just holding cards. So, yeah. I guess it's, you know, with well laid plans you're only holding 2 cards, but I can see this being, um, quite helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so th those are our last remaining relics unlocked. Strike Dummy and Cloak Clasp are not Watcher specific, but Teardrop Locket is Starting each combat in Calm definitely makes it easier to change stances. Yo, that was a lot of fun. That was a very fun run. It's it's weird. I, I keep running the same build over and over and over again, where the run is just upgraded cards with Lesson Learned, Diva Form, Two Devotions, Cleansing Evil, Deceive Reality, you know, a Fasting, and then you just put up all the blocks you can with all of the good cards that allow you to either retain blocks or draw so you can draw blocks. It's the same run, but the thing is, it seems like a very strong archetype for the Watcher. You Devotion, you Divinity, you deal triple damage, you save your attacks for that turn. You don't care about attacking and wasting energy on it every other turn. You just save your attacks for that big turn where you can kill an enemy in three cards and you have six energy to do it with. It seems like that is an incredibly strong style of play. It doesn't matter if you are doing it with, you know, Dave of Forms for blocks, if you're doing it with uh, wishes in order to get double effectiveness out of your powers. Like, it's just incredible. It's incredibly easy. Although we did lose on this run, but... I still don't remember why we lost on this run. I guess we just didn't have enough good stuff. Enough blocks, maybe? Yeah, actually looking at it, I don't think we had enough blocks on the run that we lost, but if you just add in blocks and draw, you're not going to have any problems, it feels like. Now, this is only Ascension level 2, but eventually we'll get up higher, and then maybe we'll have to change our strategy around, but for the time being, it's like, I don't really want to... Like, if a Devotion shows up as part of the card rewards, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I don't really care about adding in, you know, like a, a weave that requires you to, it doesn't require you, but it incentivizes you to scry it in, in, in order to get good value from it, when I could just play Devotion and then every five turns deal triple damage. That seems more cost effective and card effective. 
you know, a lot of the common cards um, don't seem that good in the Watcher's deck, but I love Sanctity for block and draw. And Third Eye into Sanctity is also really nice, so that you can get the uh, the block, the scry, choose your draw, draw it with Sanctity, or draw it with um, Path to Victory to play it for free. You know, if you have an expensive card like Diva Form, that's a pretty good combo. But otherwise, it's like, you know, the rare cards are really powerful in this deck, and or the uncommons are, and the rares are even better. I don't know. Seems like a, uh, I'm just repeating the same archetype over and over again, but it's really strong, and it seems pretty darn effective. We flawlessed the heart on the last run, although admittedly we did have did have the tungsten rod. Tung, tung, tungsten, tungsten rod. What a relic. Common! Common relic. It's incredible. Very good relic. Very good run! And also, hey, Black Star worked. Love it. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slay the Spire. Watcher or Defect Ascension run. Who knows?